Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann with the Thanksgiving Day edition of the Weather Extreme video, Thursday, 25th of November. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Let's talk weather. Got some big changes coming up. Skycam shots. Let's start with a look at Bryant-Denny Stadium. That's the uh, north end zone. Tomorrow is Iron Bowl Friday. Uh, game kicks off at 1.30. It's going to be cold out there. What's interesting at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning as I do this update, it's about 64. It's going to be about 20 degrees colder out there tomorrow afternoon. Uh, not a whole lot of change in our thinking. We'll have the specific forecast here in a moment. There's the uh, Birmingham sky cam this morning. Broken clouds over the city. And just for the fun of it, how about Thanksgiving morning at Gulf Shores? Not many folks uh, think of the beach this time of the year, but it's a wonderful time to be there. The sky is uh, partly sunny with the uh, water a little choppy in the Gulf. There's a water vapor satellite shot. Cold, cold trough out west, ridging over Florida where it's nice and warm. And the battleground is in between and had some pretty rough storms last night over parts of Missouri and northeast Oklahoma. Uh, the surface boundary is on through uh, uh, the Red River. In fact, look at Texas, the, the uh, contrast out there. you got Waco at 73, Sherman Denison at 30. Wow. Uh, and, of course, around here it's uh, pretty mild. Temperatures are mostly in the uh, uh, 50s and 60s this morning. Those are 7 o'clock observations. Anniston, 55. Tuscaloosa, 63. And everybody should wind up in the 70s today. We'll be flirting with records. Uh, we're projecting a high of 75. If we hit that, that is within three of the record high of this date, 78, way back in 1921. There's the Memphis radar this morning, a little after uh, 8 o'clock, and you can see the uh, convection has certainly weakened along the front as expected. But uh, still, the main band is up there uh, well to the northwest of Memphis. A few uh, scattered light rain showers ahead of that. And there could be a few isolated showers during the day today, but the bulk of the daytime today should be dry for the state. And we're really blessed here. We don't expect a major severe weather problem. This is the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Uh, not even a slight risk. That's the 5% probability area from near uh, uh, Lufkin, Texas to Cincinnati. And uh, we'll keep an eye on things. There could be a strong storm, no doubt about that, but uh, we're not expecting a big, widespread problem. If you travelers, there's the watch warning map. Uh, th those uh, counties highlighted through Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee, those are wind advisories. We've got uh, flood watches up uh, from near Cape Girardeau, Missouri, up to Indianapolis and Cincinnati and Columbus. Winter weather advisories for much of the interior northeast or they're going to have a little bit of wintry weather to deal with uh, later today and tonight as this thing comes in. And uh, the big system up north and out west is winding down where they had blizzard conditions yesterday over parts of Utah and Colorado. Rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. So uh, in a way, we're getting two systems involved here because we've got another one early next week. But heavier totals from near uh, Vicksburg up to Pittsburgh. Uh, and the amounts here would taper off from uh, well, about two and a half inches up in the shoals down to a lighter amounts over Dothan. But this deal next week should be a pretty good rainmaker. This thing coming in Monday night and Tuesday. Now, we think tonight we'll pick up about a half inch tonight and tomorrow morning. And then this one next week could bring one to two inches easily and maybe more, as you'll see. Let's check the GFS. How about the 06Z run? Yeah, we'll show that one since we're a little later in doing this. This is at noon today. Trough axis still west of here. We have a southwest flow aloft, so the front's not going to move through in a hurry. In fact, the main convection with the front at midday today should be northwest of the state. And again, you might see a few showers on radar today, but probably not very much. And the weather stays very cold out west. This is tonight at midnight. Uh, should be raining at Memphis and uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, along the front. Maybe a few showers around here, but you can clearly see it's going to be well after midnight when that main band gets here. And this is noon tomorrow, and I don't know. <clears throat> it's still going to be a close call. We're pretty optimistic the rain will be over in time for the Iron Bowl. It kicks off at 1.30 at uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium, but it will rain tomorrow morning. It'll be kind of a miserable morning. and uh, You might wake up early at like 5 or 6 o'clock, and it'll be like 60, and you'll think, hey, it's not as cold as these guys are thinking, but uh, don't worry. You look at those numbers up in that cold air, and you'll see it'll drop very quickly into the mid-40s, and we should stay there all day. We'll hover around 43, 44, 45, strong north wind, uh, light rain during the morning, just a raw, cold day. But again, it should be diminishing by midday. 
Saturday starting off the weekend. After uh, starting off the uh, morning in the 20s, we'll wind up in the 50s with a sunny sky. And Sunday, low 60s are likely. Monday of next week, we all go back to work. Yeah, look at that trough coming at us. Uh, Down below that starts to turn wet Monday west of the state. And then Tuesday, we go wet. And you can clearly see that's going to be a good rain uh, with potential for one to two inches. Maybe a strong storm. It's it's a positive tilt trough, so we don't think it'll be a at this moment a major severe weather problem. But that could change. This thing is you know five days out, and boy, look at the cold air coming in on Wednesday. Goodness gracious! Uh, if this verifies, uh, we'll have a hard time getting out of the 30s on Wednesday of next week. That's cold. And Thursday we start to warm up. That's a week from today. Dry. A very cold morning is likely. That could get us down there close to 20, but uh, we should warm up into the 50s. All right, let's dive deeper into December, December 5th. We've seen all kind of looks out here, but look at the cold uh, vortex over Canada. Strong westerlies below that, and this suggests kind of a standard cold front coming in here on the 5th. Chance of showers, and then it turns colder uh, with, you know, maybe a flake or two on the back edge of that. And on the 7th, the trough deepens. That really is a good extension of that uh, Arctic uh, air down and through here. And uh, that just looks brutally cold if this is right. I see brutally cold for us. That would be highs in the 30s and lows in the teens. And this is voodoo. Look, this we all know this could change. We've seen everything out here. We've seen everything from blizzards to uh, air that's not that cold. But this just looks very cold. And then on the 10th, the uh, vortex is still up there. The uh, pattern deamplifies a little bit. And that suggests maybe another cold front coming in through here. So, uh, you know, uh, everybody with the La Nina patterns thinking warm winter sure looks cold to us for the next couple of weeks, doesn't it? That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by tomorrow, some point during the day, we're we're on the holiday schedule doing one of these a day. If you're local to us, invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving, and God bless. 